We have got a short but intense full body workout to help you burn fat, build muscle, and relieve stress. We've also got a super fun format today because we are going to format, format, because we are going to combine strength and cardio moves. It is going to be an awesome combination for a serious burn. And the only thing you need for this workout will be your dumbbells. Just to give you a range today, I'm going to use my 10, 15, and 20 pound dumbbells. You want something that's going to challenge your upper body, your lower body, and we have one exercise we're going to use with our abs for our dumbbells. So with that, we're going to get right into our warm up, and then we'll get this workout started. And if you'd like to start your watch, now would be the perfect time. And let's just start by marching it out here, bringing those knees up. Arms are going as well. This workout today for our strength, we're gonna work 60 seconds. We're gonna move right into that next exercise for cardio, which is almost gonna be like a super set here. So we're really gonna maximize our time working. We'll get a short break and then we'll go right into our next exercise. This is also no repeat. So you've got one shot at everything, so make it count. Getting ready to go into bum kicks here in three, two, and one. So march it out, heels to bum. And again, we wanna work on getting the muscles warm, the joints warm, but because we're adding that cardio, we wanna get that heart rate up. So if you can pick up the pace here a little bit for these bum kicks, go for that now. We'll be here for just about 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna go into a squat with arm circles. Here's three, two, and one. Plant the feet here now. For squat, we're gonna take it down, bring it up, big arm circles back, and then down. Squat it down, good. Three more, this is three, two, last one. We're gonna go into a lateral shuffle and a punch. So we're gonna work it one way, punch across, and then back the other way. Now you can march it out as well to take that hop out. Or you can add that little skip hop there. Try to pick up the pace here, get that heart rate up. Strong punches. Almost there. Three, two, last one. Starting at the edge here, we're gonna walk it down into a plank. So reach it up nice and high. And then we're gonna walk it down. Hold it here in plank, and then walk it back up, and roll it up. Two more like this, and then we're gonna be ready to go. So hold it, bring it back, rounding up, and last one. And bring it up. All right, we are getting ready to go into our first superset of cardio and strength. We are gonna do a squat with a shoulder press followed by a high, low jab, alternating sides. So grab your dumbbells for that shoulder press and let's get ready to do this. All right, we go in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Use that momentum here as you press to really power through. One shot at each exercise. So really give it your all. Down, press. Good, exhale as you press up. Woo. Over halfway. Ooh. So we're gonna move quick into that next exercise. Now you'll see that modification on screen to keep it low impact. You can add the hop in there as well. Almost there. We've got three, two, one. All right, high low jab. Five seconds, we go. We're gonna alternate side, one side and then the other. Here we go. If you've got that hop in there, really power through. Strong punches. Almost there. Three, two, oh, 
one. Quick break, moving on to that next superset, sumo squat into jumping jack. So grab two dumbbells for each leg or one right in the center for that sumo squat. And let's get ready. Toes out, we go in three, two, one. Here we go. And squeeze. Down and push. Listen, if I can just let you in on something, I was not feeling like it today. I was not feeling like a workout, but I'm already feeling better. So if you were there, if you were like, I do not want to do this today. Number one, yay that you press play. Number two, we got this, okay? Because I am right with you. Oh. But we are feeling good. We're over halfway through these sumo squats. <sighs> Nothing like a little punching that won't, you know, <laughs> help cheer you up. I don't know why I love kickboxing. Takes me back to my Taibo days. <gasps> Almost there, those jumping jacks are next. You can keep them low impact, no jumping. Switching it up here, three, two, one. Dumbbells out of the way. <gasps> when we have cardio and strength, make sure you always get those dumbbells far and away. Jumping jacks, here we go. Come on, push it out. Halfway. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, next we have kettlebell swing. If you don't have a kettlebell, you're gonna use the dumbbell holding onto that one end. I'm gonna go for the kettlebell. Combining this with a hop, hop, squat for that cardio. But let's get to swinging, get some momentum in it. And then we go in three, two, here we go. Drive those hips back. Now the kettlebell swing is not a squat, okay? Ooh, that chest comes down a bit. Kettlebell or dumbbell right through the legs and then we power up using those hams, the glutes to really give you that power in that swing. Ooh, over halfway. Come on, think about driving those hips forward. Almost there. Hop, hop, squat is gonna be next. Or you've got that modification of the calf raise to squat. Three, two, one. Let that kettlebell swing out for a second. Slow that momentum. And then back. Hop, hop, squat, here we go. Now, if you are doing that modification and doing that calf raise, hold it for a second and then squat it. Hold it, feel the calf muscles. Here's three, two, one. Nice, all right, grab your dumbbell. Seated twist. So we're combining seated twists with plank mountain climbers. We actually, I said one ab exercise with dumbbells. We have two. This is one of them. So feet down, here we go. Now modification here, just don't twist quite as much. And you can omit the dumbbell as well. I like to mix it up in my ab training, training with dumbbells, training without to help work endurance in the core and the abs, but also with the dumbbell here, we're working on strengthening those muscles. So take your time with this. You may notice your pace is a lot slower than if you do not have the dumbbell. That is good, keep it slow. 
my. We're gonna flip it over, plank mountain climbers next. Now you can do the modification, just tap those legs or you can jog it out. Good, this is three, two, one. Ooh, flipping it over, mountain climbers. 30 seconds of work in three, two, one. Here we go. Ooh. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Can you go a little bit quicker? Got a little bit more speed, push it out. Remember, no repeat, one shot. Here it is, three, two, one. Amazing, wow. Is ever, this is sweat fest, what is happening? What is happening? We are going into a glute bridge with a lateral hop and hold. So we need our dumbbells for glute bridge. Grab those quickly. Whew. Moving quick, because we've got three, we've got two, and a one, here we go. Glute bridge, squeeze. Woo. Remember to get that little squeeze at the top. Hold it for a second. Weight stays in the heels. Over halfway. <sighs> 10 seconds, keep it up. <sighs> Three, two, one. Dumbbells coming out of the way because we've got to hop and hold. So quickly get those dumbbells out of your space. Modification, you won't add the hop, but you will hold. Here we go. So I want you to freeze right there as you hold. Hold it. So bring that knee up. You'll feel that core engage. Oh my goodness. Almost there, here's three, two, one. Ooh, going down for a kneeling alternating row into plank back taps. So get your dumbbells for that alternating kneeling row. Bring it to the mat. So as we do these alternating rows, keep that arm close to your side. Going in three, two, and one. Squeeze that shoulder blade around your spine as you row up, hold it for a second. And keep that core engaged. The sweat, the burn, oh my word, it is no joke in this one. Whew. But I will tell you, my little, little grumpy mood for working out today, it, it's feeling gone now. I am glad to be here. Oh, going in three, two, one. Awesome. All right, tough move here, plank back tap. You can do this on your knees or on your toes. Bring it up and let's go. So just reaching back, Towards that hamstring, tap it out. Whew. As you tap, don't let your body roll open. So keep those shoulders square. This is tough on the core. Almost there. Come on, move it quick. Three, two, one. Nice. 
Oh my word. All right, we are going into a crossover lunges, or you can see that squat for your modification. Oh, bring it up. Then we're gonna go into rear alternating lunges with a kick. Going in three, in two, and a one. Here we go. So stepping with that lunge at a diagonal. Keep that chest up. So again, if lunges bother your knees, you're working that rotating squat. And then for that next exercise as well, while we do a rear lunge to kick, you're gonna do a squat and kick. Almost there, getting ready for that cardio move. So no dumbbells, it's gonna be quick. This is three, two, and one. Dumbbells go back. I have got the rug all over the place. So alternating lunge with the kick. Here we go. Come on, work it. Push it. Almost there. This is three, two, and one. Bicep curls. All about the arms. Grab your dumbbells, 60 seconds of work. Then we're gonna go into a sumo squat with a punch variation. Going in three, two, one. Keep that form, keep the head, keep the chest up. Shoulders rolled down and back, so we're not bringing those shoulders up towards the ears. No shrugs here. Nice and relaxed. Come on down, squeeze. Think about that bicep muscle contracting right there. <sighs> Getting ready to go in that sumo hold with the punch variation. We're gonna start with cross body punches. <sighs> Here's three, two, one. Dumbbells go down. Getting into that sumo squat position. Out, cross body, here we go. Keep that chest up, lower that squat. Come on, keep it low. Strong punches, switching it up. Uppercuts next, cross body, here we go. Getting ready, taking it around town. Now here we go, across. Keep it low, keep that squat low. Almost there. Here's three. Two, one. All right, push-ups, and then into a plank with a hover. So bring it down to the mat. 60 seconds of push-ups, knees or toes. You can also do these on the wall. If you're doing them on the wall, make sure to take your feet out a little so you have a slight angle in your stance. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Keep that core engaged, glutes tight, legs tight. Whew. Whew. 
Almost there. Well over halfway. Almost there. This is three, two, one. All right, now we're going into plank. We're gonna march it in. So we're hovering. You can see that modification as well. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. So plank, bring those legs in, and then back out. Alternate legs. So if right leg led in and out, left leg leads in and out. You're also, you've got that modification of plank on the knees and then bringing those legs to hover. Almost there. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. All right, grab your dumbbell for legs up crunch. You can do this without a dumbbell as well if you'd like. This is it. A final push here. So legs up crunch, let's begin. A modification, legs are down and you're just doing that crunch. Woo. But really think about getting those shoulder blades up off of the mat. The legs are shaking, they're not even doing anything. Oh my word, shaking right now. From the fingertips to the toes. Listen, when you think about what you can accomplish in 20 minutes a day, I'm telling you what, you got it going on. If you can save yourself 20 minutes just for you to push yourself to get stronger, it will make the biggest difference. No joke. Almost there. We're going to get ready to go into an ISO dead bug, which means we are just going to hold that dead bug position in three, in two, and one. No dumbbell here. We're just holding. So get those legs 90 degrees, arms 90 degrees. Push that low back into the mat. So just think about driving that low back into the mat, squeezing your core. Oh my, we got this. Halfway. Come on, keep that low back pressed in. Keep everything nice and strong. Here we are, this is three, two, one. Give those legs a little hug into the chest. Wow, we made it. That was amazing. That was our cardio plus strength hit workout. You're the bomb. Do not forget your stretch today. Thank you for joining me. You seriously made my day and I love ya.